Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this 10 metre skein of cotton embroidery floss. It's six stranded cotton floss and uh, I'm going to try dyeing it in a Christmassy-ish colourway. Now I asked on Twitter what colour combinations people sort of associated with Christmas and one of the popular ones was purple and silver. Now silver along with gold are two very difficult colours to actually dye. So I thought I'd try purple and sort of a, a grey colour. Now this is a lot paler than I thought it was. This is snozberry. I made up a solution of uh, snozberry which is a fibre reactive dye from Dharma. Since this is, a, this is cotton it has to be fibre reactive. You can't use acid dyes on cotton and this has been soaking in soda ash and water <clears throat> and when when I made up this solution I was wearing my mask and I've still got my gloves on I didn't weigh out how much um, dye I used I just sort of stuck the end of a spoon in and took out the tiniest bit and then mixed it with some warm water so I've got far too much here, but that's fine. It's very difficult to make up a solution of enough for just this amount of um, dyeing materials. Now, what I'm using here is a dedicated dye brush and all the equipment I'm using is dedicated for dyeing. And I've got the floss on some cling film and that's on a towel which is on my table so hopefully I won't have any spills. Now I've painted on the purple snozberry and now what I want to try doing is get just this is um, this is raven black I don't actually have a grey in f fibre reactive dyes so I thought I'd try just dripping this on and I'm starting to wonder if I actually I made this t solution too um, too weak because I I took the tiniest amount of black to try and uh, make a grey but I can't even see this well actually I can it's very very light so I think uh, I did want to well I am I was dripping it on but it's so pale that I thought that I think I'm just going to squirt some on now and hopefully this will be silver-ish. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to give that a little massage through. Uh, just try and get all the dye through. I don't particularly want any cost, any white left on the cotton, but if it if there is, that's not the end of the world. And I think that's probably enough. Actually, I think that is quite a nice sort of grey. Coming come up close, it is looking a bit more silvery than I thought originally. That purple is lovely. Uh, it's a bit difficult to tell because the lighting is so um, bad today it's really really dark and gloomy day so I've got not only got my my um, lights but I've also got the room lights on as well so that's why it's got a bit of a an orange uh, reflection here but I think this looks lovely and hopefully I haven't used too little black dye and it won't just all wash out now since this is cotton, which is a plant-based fibre, and I've got fibre reactive dyes here, this doesn't need heat to set, it just needs time. So another great thing about using the cling film is that now I can just wrap it up and leave this somewhere for the next couple of days, just out of the way, so that the dye can set to the yarn. Now it's time to wash this floss. It's been sitting here for about a week now. Plenty of time for the dye to bind to the floss. And there's not really any colour on the cling film either, which 
is good and hopefully there won't be too much runoff. There will always be runoff when you come to cotton and fibre reactive dyes because it, fibre reactive dyes and, and um, plant based fibres don't exhaust in the same way that animal fibres do. But this looks pretty good actually, it doesn't look like there's anything really coming off this at all. So I've just added a little bit of washing up liquid and I'm going to let this soak in a tub of water for just a little while and I'm going to change the water every now and then until the water is completely clear. And that's the best way I've found to wash cotton. And here is the finished cotton floss. Now this was dyed purple and well I was trying to go for silver to make a nice sort of pur purpley silver Christmassy colourway. I'm not sure if, would you say this is silver or grey or off-white? I don't really know what I would call this colour. I think it's pretty. I'm not entirely sure if I was successful with this or not. Um, I like it, as I said. Uh, I don't know if the purple needs to be a bit richer. Maybe I should have used more dye for that. But I think it looks great. I really like it. What do you think? Please let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to this channel. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and this floss. I do take all viewer suggestions and I do try to turn most of them, if not all of them, into videos at some point. Uh, this was a suggestion from one of my Facebook friends. Uh, so there should always be something different and interesting to watch on this channel. Thank you so much for watching.